guys, it's Lauren Yates from Rave It Up, and I am privileged to be here today with Thomas McGon from Jersey Boys. How are you going today, Thomas? I'm good, Lauren. How are you? Hi, fantastic. <laughs> this is like, what, the third time you've been on the show now? Yeah, I think so. But the first what? time we've actually sat down. Yeah, this is the, for the an first time was cast. when I was a bit awkward and first cast and, you know, got that fresh look about me. But yeah, now we're in the show and yeah, you've done a few sort interviews. Of. We've done a few, yeah, yeah you know exactly how to do right. it now. But it's always so much fun when I have a chat to you guys. So I know today it was going to be another blast. Absolutely. It's fantastic. So you are currently playing Bob Gordio in yes. the Jersey Boys musical. If people haven't checked it out yet, highly recommend it. Not just saying it because I know these guys, <laughs> but incredible show. Now, we're going to talk more in depth about that soon. Sweet. But I first want to say, even though, you know, we've known each other for a little bit now, I just want to say how proud I am of you. Like, I watched the show and you literally gave me goosebumps. <laughs> I was just like, oh, look at those acting skills. Look at that natural <laughs> talent right there. It's fantastic. Thank you. No, Thank that's you. Right. Take, take the compliment. Yeah, no <laughs> no need to say anything else with that one. <laughs> but for those who don't know, you got the role when you were still at uni, graduating yeah. year. That is a lot of pressure to take on. But how, how many auditions did you actually go on before going on the edition for, for, for Jersey Boys. <laughs> yeah, um, well, look, I got the brief, um, as anyone does, you know, sort of through uni, I guess, because uni were the, always the first port of call for, you know, if we, if we were going to audition, they had to sort of get approval from the heads. And um, yeah, auditions, mid third year. Um, and then that audition process was a couple of days, actually. It was sort of one after the other. I think it was three days in total. I went in to sing my song and um, do my bit of dialogue, which I had been given. Um, then there was a dance call the next day. And then the day after I had been given, I think five monologues or like five scenes, excerpts, um, and the two songs. So, Oh What A Night and um, Cry For Me um, to sing to camera. So yeah, it was really exciting. Jeez. And you were like one of what was it, 450 people Pro Australia probably just, wide probably to just audition? About, like, yeah, I mean, I don't know how many people auditioned for Bob, like individually, but mm. um, yeah, there were a lot of a lot of people. Is that daunting, like, to go in the room and was it actually 450 think, all together? Because that would be <laughs> no. Well, it is a bit like the, it's a bit like a cattle call. Like yeah. you sort of walk in and there's about 50 people waiting, um, you know, for their slot for their five minutes, and um, yeah, you do. Like, I walked in thinking, ah, oh, you know, there's there's a lot of people here. They're probably more deserving than I am. I'm just going to do the best I well, can and, and go back to uni. No, but no, it's <laughs> but it's like, I at the time, I was like, you know, You're the, only the audition, really the so audition um, experience was enough for me, you know, like, to figure out how I'm going to fare. That's 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 good enough for me. And then even if you didn't get it, you'd still say, oh, exactly I right. auditioned for I Jersey auditioned Boys. For Jersey Boys. <laughs> didn't get in, but you know. I still but, auditioned. Yeah. <laughs> they still really liked me. Yeah. 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 Did you audition for anybody else? But well, no, Bob, it was just I just auditioned for Bob Gordio. So I had yeah applied for Bob and um, Nick and Tommy. Um, but yeah, they just gave me a call for Bob Cordio, so that was really, really, they really cool. Get, they get it, don't they? They know what they want. Totally. And Obviously, looked at you and was that, like, "You're like, you a Bob Cordio." You know Gordier. what? If I've gone in for a Bob Cordio call, that's good enough for me. That's pretty cool. I've yeah. been called in for a lead. Awesome, done, <laughs> tick. <laughs> just one of the side guys. <laughs> yeah. So, what do you think your biggest lesson you've learnt while doing auditions has been? Um, be prepared. Um, but like to an extent, I think I I like to think that um, to not over prepare things in terms of finding new material and learning it just for that audition because then like for me I picked a song that I've loved for years I sung Unchained Melody oh, um, great song. for the yeah great song and I've known it for virtually all my life so it's not something that I've learned to go oh they'll love that that's perfect for the show it's something that I've, I was just comfortable with and could share mm. so um, yeah I think that's a sort of little secret mm. yeah. good so hopefully everyone takes that on board if they want to audition for star exactly right now and starting from the beginning you've mm. always loved singing and did musicals at school but it was only during like year 11 and 12 that you mm. actually thought of doing it as a career yeah. so what was the turning point for you i th i think it was it was watching and seeing all of my sort of peers who were older than me going through uh, studying music theater or or even just getting into musicals um, professionally was that point where maybe I could 
maybe I could do that thing. Maybe I could go out and perform professionally. And um, I had done musicals all through high school, loved the absolute heck out of it. Oh, um, so and good. then, you know, came out of year 12 with like an application to go into VCA, which was just phenomenal. Mm. Yeah. And then Jersey Boys. It's just and then been Jersey a, like, Boys. A it's been a, effect, it's been a roller it? coaster. Like, I haven't, like, the, this is my first year out of the education system and yet it's still not a year that I that it's like it's still moving mm. like I'm still progressing still learning so yeah roller coaster it's roller a good coaster. start though to be one of the four seasons absolutely oh, that's like every, <laughs> I think everybody's dream when they work in musical theater. I did actually think when it came around it was like wouldn't this be a great role just for someone coming out of uni it seems right <laughs> as soon as you said that the universe exactly knew right. that, like, it was like you know what we're gonna do this for you <laughs> yeah, you've deserved it and you can just tell you're so passionate about it so please don't lose that because no, it's like a I fantastic won't. quality <laughs> So were there any other careers that you wanted to do when you were younger or when you found that you're like, I'm going to do that? You know, the the inner child in me still wants to be like a game tester, like to be one of those people who tests out Getting paid to play games. Um, Yeah, because, yeah, who who wouldn't? I always thought I was going to be a musician, secondly, probably. Um, you know, I learned guitar. you are. A well, nice it, isn't it, isn't it a bit way? ironic that I'm yeah. playing a musician? But um, it's, yeah, musician was always, it was like my second thing that I picked on. There you go. The, the universe gave that to you. You know as what well. I mean? It was like, you know what? We'll give you both. <laughs> yeah, we'll give you um, both. <laughs> but yeah, musician, like a guitarist or a or a, a professional singer, mm. purely. So who yeah. knows with the game testing? Maybe do that in between musicals. Yeah, we could do a bit of a. It might be the biggest crossover ever. Yeah, a gaming like, oh, musical. What do you do? Could you yeah. imagine? Um, musical theatre performer mm. and and professional and a ga- video game. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <Just> <laughs> <right. Yeah. laughs> it's an interesting resume. <laughs> yeah, I'd be proud of it. Not gonna lie. Uh, looking at your star now page as well, it says you're an actor, <laughs> extra, model. Photographer. I'm, I'm, I keep going. Dancer, choreographer, singer, guitarist, drummer, pianist, and composer. I didn't know what anyone looked at do? that page. <laughs> well, I did when I was doing my research. Now, are they all correct? Like, I would never have picked you as a guitarist, drummer, guitarist, or pianist. guitarist. Yes, I learned that in year seven onwards. Um, you still play uh, it? Yeah, 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 yeah. I've got a guitar in my dressing room still. Um, uh, piano, I learned through doing music classes in in all through high school drumming same like i learned that off watching a friend and being like man i want to play drums um and then just started hitting things listening to music and copying it yeah um so i did it at school learned, i can put it on my trom- start i learned page. trombone for a year for wow. free because the school was just like learn trombone for a year and like stuff like like fife like which is like a little wooden flute thing um stuff like that and like i've always been interested in that from you know since day dot really wow yeah i'm gonna repeat my question what can't you do like uh jeez the swahili nose flute i always say i can't play the swahili nose flute okay well yeah we don't know what that is but exactly exactly. yeah as long as you're out there yeah doing a great a great performance of bob audio you're (laughs) all good (laughs) yeah uh, you've really hit the limelight, obviously, with Jersey Boys. And mm. as we said, what a great start. One of the four seasons. <sighs> and if people haven't seen it or even our last interview, you know, Cameron McDonald and mm. Glass and Toff, they've been in Jersey Boys before. So you're yeah. around, you know. Well seasoned well, performers. Yeah. Alumni. It's great. Yeah. Exactly yeah. Right. So have you, have they given you advice or have you just been kind of picking up things from watching them all the time? Every Always. Night? That, like, it is, it is that watching thing that, like, helps me to learn. But, you know, Cameron, especially, and Glaston as well, but they've been there always to not only ground me in terms of, like, what's happening and um, keeping up with how to, how to present myself here and there, but, like, in the rehearsal space, it's so helpful for them to, you know, che- they're always checking in. They're always being like, like, how are you going, mate? Like, is there anything bothering you? Uh, like, I'm here stuff for like you. That. Yeah, I'm exactly your brother. right. Yeah. And that's like the, the pinnacle of their being a role model in the rehearsal room is that they're always checking in and, yeah, they're always checking that I'm all right that's and doing good. a good job. What yeah. a family environment. Yeah, it is It is actually a phenomenal cast. Like, in that, in that respect, it is, like, so supportive. Casting directors know what they're doing. Exactly right. And exactly I, right. As we've said off air, like seeing Cam, and obviously we both know him really well. <laughs> yeah. Seeing him as Tommy DeVito, I'm just like, I even said to him, I'm like, you are nothing like your character in real yeah. life. It's kind of creepy. I was like, what has happened to him? Like, yeah, what's possessed him? Suddenly, yeah, he's become, instead of like this sort of orange yellow, he's become like a fire red yeah. on stage. It's crazy. Oh, because yeah. yeah, his character, I'm. 
I'm not going to sugarcoat this. It's exactly an right. And like... it is actually fun to play opposite as well. It's like, ah, oh, you're being a little bit of a Ooh, <laughs> right yeah. now. So you know what? I'm going to just throw you, you know, all throw those fun decisions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Well, it's good because you get the best of both worlds. You get to see him like that, which we never want to see him no, off like no, that in real life. No. And then the actual really lovely, down to earth, humble Absolutely. Cam that we all and know. And he'd never apologize for that as well. He's no, such a like, great guy. I did a good yeah. job. What are you talking yeah, about? Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't say anything bad about it. <laughs> now, I also really want to know being up against, not, not up against, but with those guys. Yeah, totally. And I guess having them as your mentors and being in your very first huge professional production. What is the biggest lesson you've learned while doing Jersey Boys? And I know it's not finished Ooh. yet, so um, still early days. There have been a lot of lessons thus far. Like, I mean, even treating the rehearsal room is is a lesson in itself. Like, what's expected of me and what's um, what everyone's role is, where to draw the line in terms of, like, how, like, where my job intersects with someone else's, like, stage management. But I think the the biggest lesson thus far has been that everyone's like everyone's here to do a job mm. um and i think um the the sort of stereotypical uh i'm gonna say bitching but like you know yeah. like the sort of the banter stuff that, that happens kind of expect, the, the bad yeah. stuff the underground stuff that happens in music theater like the way that they cast this show like mm. you were saying everyone's a great person and i think the lesson is that um, to just treat everyone as equal, really, because yeah. in the end, we've all got an equal amount of hard jobs to do, and uh, yeah, we're presenting it to the best of our abilities. So, yeah. and like, having fun while doing it as well. It's a kick-ass musical. So, look at that smile on his face. Yeah. He's <laughs> absolutely loving this. It's great. <laughs> uh, something that just blew me away with watching the show is how much dialogue there is, mm. and like you've got to remember, it's like it's not just. The choreography, learning yep. the lyrics to the songs. Yep. It's also so much dialogue yep. and knowing when to do what. Totally. So how did you memorize it all? Do you have certain tips and tricks that you've picked up to help you out or? Well, when it comes to like, cause the, the style of the show, like you've seen is like narrated as well yeah. as in the scenes and like dialogue there. You've got a lot. And there's a lot. Like yeah. I, I think in terms of time limit, not saying that I've got the biggest job, but in terms of time Close limit. To in it. terms of the, the, <laughs> Like you're on the stage roll. Like, My half of the act is. I was like, when is he like? Yeah. <laughs> yep, when are you off stage? Yeah. No, no, I, wa <laughs> I wanted you on there minutes. all the time, but. Um, it is the longest amount of time um, in a season. You know, there's winter, summer, fall, and mm. and all that. But um, mine's the longest season, um, and you know, I think my secret is like I like to picture things. Um, so when it comes you kind to kind of picture the script in front oh, of you. Oh well, not even the words. Like if I was talking about um, what part I'm of the show are you? I'm gonna... trying to think of the part of the show, but basically, like I like to just um, memorize things in terms of pictures. So if if I'm talking about a red car, for example, I picture the red car. Ah, oh, in the scene where I'm talking to Glaston about uh, the sh the Chevys, the the new Cadillac oh, yeah, convertibles. Yeah. Where do you go like shopping? all that stuff is like looking at that and like describing it how it is, and then the dialogue sort of just falls out so really, even if you haven't said the script word for word you've kind of yeah exactly right and, yeah. We, and like the job is to do it word for word but like in learning it it's really helpful for me to sort of just picture everything outside myself and oh, yeah and i mean the really monologues incredible. are really fun i mean like there's so ma there's so many different nuances that i can play um to the audience depending on the audience reactions you know um, my relationship with them every night so that's the fun thing about it yeah and and something that i love as well because you're saying it like what every day or even if you have two shows in a day yeah you're saying it like it's the first time yeah well, exactly that, right. that's how i'm and that's what i mean it. about yeah. the, that's what i mean about the relationship as well is that even though i know exactly what i'm going to say um it's how i say it that's that's different everyone every mm. night you know like they're always going to treat every line every laugh is going to be different every line that i say is going to be received differently so that's the the fun interplay of it is you know seeing how they're going to react and then letting that feed me to feed them the next line you know well, yeah. it's like, like i remember when it came to the media call and mm. saw when ryan came up on stage and he did that dialogue the end, the end scene. So when he's talking about, yeah, you know, what was they the best, ask him what, what was, was the, the best high point? point? Yeah, yeah, what was the highest point? And 
he did that a little bit differently on opening night too. Yeah, it's yeah, just yeah. a little like nobody else would have noticed, but I was like, oh, okay. He said it like as simple as totally. as simple as like, oh, he said it a bit slower there. Yeah, he or, said it slower or a bit higher, high, a bit higher like, pitch, like yeah. the simplest things. Yeah, but I was like, oh. Okay. Yeah, and the fun is that it still makes sense. Yeah, like, you exactly. You know what I mean? Like it's it's still all the same, but yeah. So every really show is, is different. Fun. Every show is different, different every night. Mark I Alfred. love that. <laughs> And I'd love to know, did you watch the Jersey Boys movie before? I did. I did. as well? We, we, so it's we very similar, I've noticed. Yeah, we, mm. like, I, I watched it purely because it was sort of the only medium that was recorded that I could find immediately um, to sort of figure out. And I think Bob Gordio was Eric Bergen in the film. Um, and just watching how he played it was interesting enough. And mm. then reading the script to sort of find my version of it as well. So, yeah, I did watch the movie a little yeah. bit. Because I've got to say, like, I think in terms of casting as well, they made it, You, they picked you guys and you look very similar to the actors yeah, that totally. in the movie. Yeah, totally. I guess it is a testament to, um, like, they would never ask us to mimic the real life Bob Gordio or Tommy DeVito, but, um, yeah, they I like mean, to it get... it helps, but... <laughs> it helps, but they like to, um, they definitely like to find, you know, little bits of Bob in people mm. and then sort of let that shine. Um, whether it's on camera in the movie or on stage. Yeah. yeah. Well, I liked how it was connected. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, if you've watched the movie and then you watch the musical, you're like, oh, okay, so they did that a little bit differently. Totally. But overall, it's still the same story. Yeah, and I mean, like a movie, the stage show keeps moving. There are no blackouts or anything. Like, there's always mm. dialogue or movement happening, um, just like a film. So, yeah, it's yeah. pretty You're sitting there going, what's happening now? Yeah, it's a, <laughs> and blackout, what are they going to do? <laughs> yeah. Where are they going to come from yeah. next? Like, yeah. Are who's, they going to come from the back? Who's, who's talking? Yeah. <laughs> And I heard that your dad loves the musical too, and he used yes. to have all the, you know, songs. Yep, yep. So is he coming to every show he's now? Already, he's already he's already come twice. Oh, um, he came to opening night, and then brought a bunch of my family up as well. He actually brought his brothers and sisters, oh. so my aunties and uncles, um, up. Was uh, that a bit the scary? Like it wasn't scary. In fact, it was really nice. I mean, they're it's a big family, and they hardly get to come together, so it's pretty nice and special for them as well to. You know, for this to be an event for them to come together and really celebrate. So yeah. <laughs> you see my son on stage, yeah. <laughs> my boy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he's great though. It's good though because you know there's people in the audience that love you unconditionally. Exactly right. If you screw up, it's all good. They still yeah. love you. They exactly still right. thought it was an amazing show. Yeah. <laughs> they're not gonna go. Oh, I don't know about that bit. I'd... Yeah, they're wouldn't not gonna come to stage door and be Thomas. like, "All right, mate, I've got a couple of notes." Yeah. <laughs> Here's my notebook. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Scroll. Oh, gosh. Well, it's good that they don't. No. And I've got to say as well, it's so fitting that, you know, Bob Gordio was the youngest in the band mm -hmm. and the last to join, and you were too. Yeah. You know, like, I like to keep that as a little, like, little they, token. They yeah. probably do that on purpose, to be honest. Maybe. Like, let's yeah. really make this so authentic. <laughs> and they did. Let's really make him the newbie. Yeah. <laughs> now, I know I asked you this last time, but, you know, it's been a year. Cannot believe Who knows? that. Like, yeah, to me, it's gone so quickly, but for you, it's gone a little slower. It's been a bit, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but so your answer may have changed, sure. which is great. And unfortunately, you know, with the industry, everyone loves fame and, you know, knowing the star. <laughs> and so, when being one of the main cast members now and being all over the media promoting the show, yes. have you found people that, you know, maybe you haven't heard from for a while or people that never gave you the time of day before starting to? contact you now and go, hey mate, uh, how's it going? And maybe unfortunately using you yeah, to, I mean, for your I mean, fame a little like, bit I don't, Like, I tend to avoid those people in general. Like, I mean, I'm an Good. introvert. I tend to avoid most people um, <laughs> when I can, but like... That is so when it, surprising. When it comes, yeah. When <laughs> it comes to those now. people... Yeah, introvert on stage. Um, <laughs> when it comes to those people, like, I, not to name any names, but like, the contact that I do have with those people, though minimal... Um, I always sort of just remind myself that, you know, they're to look for the genuine part of people. And if people want to just use, like, cr the credibility of knowing me as their token of fame to, like, oh, I know this person in the stage, and then constantly contacting someone, whether it's me or not. But, yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know what to think of those problem, people. Isn't it? Yeah, that's, mm. that's sort of their issue. And then I sort of respond in a neutral thing. It's like, hey, great to hear from you. Thanks. But, you know, it's sort, no of, thanks. It's sort of no more than that. Yeah. yeah. Well, stay grounded, you know. Cause exactly right. Stay and surround grounded. yourself with the people that do love you yeah. unconditionally. And yeah. And I mean, it's you. the people at Stage Door, actually, that um, are really quite interesting is where, you know, they actually say that they've had a really great night and they thank 
me or the cast members for a great night. Yeah. And then those are the people that I go, you know what? I know exactly how you feel. Of course, I'd love to sign your program. Of course, I'd like to have a photo with you mm. because you've actually appreciated your night. And, and I'm, you've been and there this before is my, too. Sorry. Yeah, exactly right. That's what I mean. Like, <laughs> yeah. I know exactly how you feel because... You know, I've come from a country town where traveling up to Melbourne to see a show was the biggest thing ever. Yeah. And to see the star of the show outside of the theater is insane. Um, so, yeah, it's really nice to share that yeah. with someone. You know how it feels. It's great. <clears throat> exactly. Uh, while we're on this topic too, yeah. have you experienced any haters yet? Like, Because I know bullying is a huge thing these days and I love to bring it up in my totally. interviews to ins- you know, ensure... That- the listeners that you know if they are going through it they're not going through it alone exactly right like i i mean i haven't had an immediate bullying but like in terms of like mental health um there when i was initially cast and the jersey boys page was putting up all of the cast and um you know that promotion was starting to happen it's so subtle but people make comments being like why aren't the original cast coming back Ugh. or like i wish stephen may was coming back or like we love people Stephen play, May too. We, we, yeah. yeah, absolutely. But like, it's those things that got to me initially that I was like, oh, like fresh, fresh out of uni, first big musical, first big part, and people are going, we want the old person back, and that's not a direct stab at me at all. Yeah. But it's something that I take on board, being who I am, and it's like, how do I deal with that? And it's just now Go I prove look at them it, wrong. Na- now <laughs> I look at it like, you know, I'm just going to do the best I can do and have fun because yeah. that's what I'm here to do. Yeah. So yeah. Well, it's good you're doing that. Exactly right. Yeah. And I'm sure you've proven them wrong now. <laughs> like, <laughs> Stephen May did a fantastic job absolutely, too. Like, absolutely. Absolutely. New people have got to new come people, in. New people, new company, fresh faces. Yeah, uh, absolutely. Say that even though Glaston has been in like the last exactly like, right. four we, or whatever. But. Yeah, Glaston's an exception. <laughs> he's we exception. love Glaston. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You can understand I mean, he's still why kicking he keeps it. getting yeah, yeah. it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> now, even though you've already achieved so much with Jersey Boys and, you know, <laughs> uni um yeah <laughs> what can we expect from you in the future do you Oof. have any plans after jersey boys is finished um that we can look forward to well i always thought i always like to say that getting a role such as this and that this caliber was always going to be like my five-year goal after uni and now that it's happened it's like okay do i go up where or do back i down? yeah where do i go do i stay on an even playing field what do i look for and um i think now it's it's like, you know what, I'm going to take whatever's coming at me because in the end, it's anything's a creative outlet. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, I could write my own music after this or through this project. Yeah, that and would be cool. Move on to, you know, doing local theatre. Like, it, it doesn't necessarily matter to me as much as, you know, keeping my craft up um, and still enjoying what I do, you know? Like, mm. I could be a musician one day and then up on the stage the next day or... You know, even starting podcasts. I don't know. It's just stuff that happens in my head that I go, that's actually podcast, something I could do. I would listen to that. You know just what I mean? <laughs> yeah, stuff like that. It's and all so, in the same field, though, which exactly is really right. good. Like, yeah. It's all still in the entertainment industry, and it's just stuff that I love. Yeah. We should do a podcast together. That would be really cool. Damn straight. <laughs> Talking all about the entertainment industry. <laughs> the theatre. Oh, gosh, you wouldn't be able Video to shut games. us up. But yeah. <laughs> There you go, gaming reviews. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can do your gaming. Damn straight. That's <laughs> oh my, my outlet. It's all connected now. You. There you go. Can't you can, get out of that now. You can do it all together. Yeah. Now, I also want to know, do you have any advice for the people watching, you know, your fans that want to get into Oof. musical theatre? Or... Other than what I've already said, I mean... Be um, humble. I always... I actually, <laughs> That's a big one. <laughs> I've recently liked to think that, um, like, and I don't mean this in any way to be bragging, but, like, it's... It's now I've come to terms that I'm a very special case in terms of being cast in a lead role coming out of uni. And I think that's a big message for younger generations of people who don't necessarily see music theatre as an outlet. And I think, like, going to dance classes, going to theatre classes, getting into a theatre course and doing what you love is more important than what people say you can and can't do. Mm. Um, And... You know, there are glimpses of times where I've been told that, you know, musicians, you can't really do that and make money. You can't make money out of theatre. Um, but that's that's not it. Like, I love doing... I love singing, I love dancing, I love acting. And whether it's about money or not, you know, that's where my heart is. And, you know, follow your heart and, you know, enjoy what you do. I'm a country kid who's here in Sydney 
who's doing a professional musical, you know, three years out of uni. So, yeah, yeah. it's pretty That fantastic. is something I absolutely love when I talk to people that are in musical theatre. They don't care about the money. Mm. They do it all for the love. Yep. And you can see, like, good exactly. example right here. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. Know. Don't get greedy with the money. No, no, not at all. <laughs> no, I can't say that. Yet. <laughs> You're not that type of person. Uh, we are unfortunately getting to the end of the interview. That's okay. This has been a lot of fun. <laughs> but as a closing statement, and what's probably the most important question, mm. knowing what you know now, what would you tell your 14 year old self? Be brave. Be brave. I yeah, like that. Absolutely. I think, like, I'm still telling myself that now, but I think. God, 14-year-old self. I'm, try- I'm trying to think of that. But like, <laughs> What were you like at 14? <laughs> be, yeah, be, be brave, be bold, and know that your opinion is valid, you mm. know? Like, I'm, I'm a middle child, so I sort of grew up where, you know, I was sort of in between the, the um, I guess, whose opinion was right and wrong. But, like, yeah, just know that, you know, you are bold, you are brave, you are all of these things that are greater than your worries you know what I, mean? I love yeah. that it's mm. good advice for all the young listeners <laughs> too not just yourself and before we go if the listeners would like to contact you or find out what you're up to where should they go well i've actually just started up an instagram page um oh, that's wow. that's for About that's time. for my pe- yeah so <laughs> like there's that and then i've also got like a bunch of posts that i put up on facebook or you know but i'm slowly starting to find a a public image so yeah, yeah. hopefully that'll start it up very soon time, I get it, it does yeah. yeah yeah absolutely especially as a professional thing instead of a personal thing exactly right yeah it takes yeah. time so everyone go follow him <laughs> you won't be disappointed <laughs> thank you so much for coming on the show today Thomas thanks I Lauren really appreciate your time good luck with the rest of the show thank you I know you're not gonna have any issues with it <laughs> I, I'm thinking because it's here till December mm-hmm. like I think I've got to come back again Damn maybe straight. a couple of times absolutely has got to go too <laughs> to- told him about it I was like how have you not gone your yeah, parents you have, have gone, go. but you haven't gone. <laughs> it's got you got to go for everybody. Um, well, for everyone watching, it is here till December, so go buy your tickets at Capital Theatre and go check out Thomas online, social media, well, as he posts all his new posts. Yes. <laughs> but for now, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time, guys. Bye.